Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Before we get started I've got a couple shout outs to make. First shout out is to uh, Ben Thomas in Alberto, Canada. Shout out to you. Appreciate you being so supportive of my, of my channel. Uh, so thank you ever so much man. So shout out to you. Next shout out is to Rob, Jen, Ella and Jess. Uh, shout out to you guys man. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed so far. Right, we are having KFC, so I'll bring you back when the food's here. Oh, does your mummy have to cut up your chicken like a baby? Your baby. Is that my baby? Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Uh, here we have some KFC. I've got four fries, six pieces of chicken, four chicken strips and eight chicken wings. I'm not gonna eat all, the, all eight of the chicken wings right now because I don't like the coating um, on the chicken wings. I think they're really, really crispy, so I'll probably have about two and then I'll reheat the others in the microwave tomorrow, let them go soft and soggy and then eat, eat them like that. The gravy's nice and thick. Oh. <clears throat> but let me know in the comments how many of you guys hate it when you order a large gravy and they give you two small pots? Like, how am I supposed to dunk my chicken in that? It's, yeah, that, that's the whole reason why I like getting a large one. I've noticed from, from what people have said that KFC chips is like Marmite. You either love them or you hate them. I don't mind them myself, to be fair. Like, But respect to KFC, if you don't want the seasoned ones, you can get normal ones and they will fry you normal ones rather than having their seasoning on it. And I do love these, the chicken tenders or chicken kickers or, uh, I don't know. A every company has a different name for it. I think, what is it, Domino's or someone calls it kickers. Uh, another one calls it tenders. Mini fillets. Oh, mini fillets. And KFC call it mini fillets. <laughs> But I do love these mini fillets because they have the KFC coating on them as well. They're not just bland. One thing I do miss from London is I don't mind chicken wings I really don't but in London I think it is I think Morley's did it and I think 
favourite fried chicken might have done it as well is on their chicken wings it's the, the normal like KFC coating on there it's not extra crispy I don't like the extra crispy of them right let's dunk my chicken luckily I've got a lot of breast so I can dunk I can dunk this in my gravy I do love the breast piece of chicken because it's just one tiny little bit of bone and you don't have to fiddle about with it trying to get them you know get fight fight around the, the bits of bone trying to get the meat off Let's have one of these chicken wings. Let's have this breast piece and then with, with the breast piece all you've got to do struggling to rip it off
yeah with the breast piece all you've got is that one little piece you've got the cartilage or whatever that's called there a little bit of bone on top and nothing else so you've got two chunks of chicken um, the only issue with the breast piece it is the driest part <clears throat> but I still love it that's what gravy is for Yeah, just, gravy's thick, it's lovely, but what I've noticed is the thicker the gravy, the faster it runs out. Eat these chips real quick. I wish chips didn't go cold so fast, otherwise I wouldn't be trying to prioritise the chips. <clears throat> but I'm going to not eat the last few chips. I don't want to fill myself up on chips and then I have to reheat all the chicken because I like the crunch to the mini fillets. I forgot what it was called again. I love the crunch to the mini fillets so I don't want to have to microwave them because they go soft and soggy in the microwave and I, I don't want to 
just dump them in an air fryer just for a couple chicken mini fillets. What? <clears throat> <coughs> oh, just gotta love KFC skin. It's the only time I ever eat skin. I will never eat it otherwise. Like with turkey at Christmas. Oh, I, could, I can't stand the skin. I don't think anyone eats skin off a turkey. I like the chicken skin. Of a chicken, I would never fucking touch turkey skin. I, th I thought you had the turkey skin. No. I swear we tried it once. I know I tried it once, and it was tough and yeah, like fun. thick and it's chewy. Blue's having to look through the bin for his dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. He looks like he's something. Yeah, he's, he's got a, that little bit of, bit of the breast. Don't be feeding your cat chicken bones now. Nah. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm trying. It's, it's the, the cartilage part. Oh. Yeah. Have a good mm -hmm. bit of chicken. <coughs> Yeah, he, he gets to eat what I won't touch. Yeah. Blue, what? Yeah, I'm just going to call you leftovers, boy. Hmm. That's it, leftovers. Leftovers. Come here, leftovers. Yeah. That's all you're getting. Yeah, some proper chicken there, boy. There you go. And I'll zoom in. <laughs> Better fun to see Blue's own little mukbang. After he just like, <laughs> like chewed on a bone and yeah, chewed all down his throat. <laughs> chewed down, chewed on a bone out of desperation. <clears throat> Have you got any milk at home? Yeah, kinda. Take the blue one. Because usually I only have the blue one, and don't forget the ice cream thing that Emmy chose, whatever one it was. Yeah. <clears throat> it was 20 sabaloys. I've got 20 sabaloys. There was more, but I just picked up 20, Dean. I just be like walking up to I don't two. like sharing my sabaloys with any other customers. <laughs> I don't think walking up to the till with 35 sabaloys is just <laughs> a bit, <laughs> a bit too much. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't mind because it's not me going up there saying, "Oh, I'd like to buy these twenty packs of Savloys, please." Ask if, if I have a fucking fish and chip shop. <laughs> don't I, I? I reckon since since I started, since you started getting them for me, I've I've had hundreds of Savloys now, surely. Yeah, of course you have. So yeah, apologies for that. Um, if I do. <laughs> 
if I do sound a lot bubblier now, um, it's because my family was here having KFC as well. And yeah, like they're, they're trying to whisper to each other. They're trying to like, not make any noise and stuff. And it's like, I don't mind them making noise, you know, like me personally, they, they can talk in the background. It, you know, it, it could be like I'm in, in a restaurant filming like I did um, with the Indian All You Can Eat. But, yeah, like, yeah, uh, and I, it kind of makes me feel uncomfortable having to feel like they have to be quiet while I'm filming. Um, so, yeah, I, I just find it difficult to film like that. Same, which is why people, when people turn around to me and say, like, why, why don't, why do I go away and film when I'm at my, when I'm at my mum's? Same reason. exact same reason I don't want my family to feel like they have to be quiet while I'm filming um, like yeah so I, I would like to go away somewhere in a completely other room and film the roast dinners either outside in the garden or um, yeah either, either out in the garden or in a back room somewhere Right, let's finish off this piece. Let's have a chicken leg. From watching mukbangs as well, I've noticed lots of people don't like the legs. I don't mind them. What I'm going to do with the other leg is I'm going to take the coating off. best I could anyway and then I'll save this leg for blue oh right let's have let's have another flat piece of chicken wing yeah I don't know what I don't I'm trying to remember I don't know what coating this was Some people said it was like cornflakes. 
I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It looks like it to be fair, but I could be wrong. Yeah, the um, the Pizza Hut video that you saw last time out. Um, I don't know if I told you in the Pizza Hut video, or if I did say it in the Pizza Hut video and I edited it out at all, but. I'm not a competitive eater. I'm not trying to be a competitive eater. I just eat until I'm full. Um, so I wasn't trying to eat a mountain of food in any way. You know, I, I would never be able to stand up to the, the likes of Beard Meets Food, Leah Shakiva, uh, Max Versus Food, Joel Hansen. Um, oh, What's the other one? There's there's a, a competitive a female competitive eater in America. Ah, oh, I forgot what her name is. But she was insane. Like I would never be able to compete with with these guys. So don't think I was attempting to <laughs> eat like 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 a competitive eater because I hadn't eaten all day the day before and I I didn't drink lots of water to expand my stomach in any way as well neither and stuff like that so yeah um, but yeah no like uh, I'll never I'll never hold a candle I, w I wouldn't even be able to hold a candle to them guys for sure. Uh, I watched, I think it was released a couple weeks ago, but I watched Joel Hansen's video where he had like um, a cottage pie, either a cottage pie and a shepherd's pie, or um, two shepherd's pies. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know, it was confusing in the video because apparently in Canada a shepherd's pie is with beef which I don't understand why because a shepherd is a sheep herder and sheep is lamb so like yeah and I was watching I was watching his his video I could train all my life I'll never be able to do what he done. 10 kilograms of food. I think if I trained and trained and trained and trained my absolute hardest, best, best I could probably do is oh, five. And I'm exaggerating when I say five. I'm thinking more like four, but you know, if I'm thinking like if I if I train, 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 I still wouldn't even be able to do half of what Joel Joel Jack oh, Joel Hansen uh, can eat. So yeah, like 
hats off to them compared to these, man. They, they can eat. Like, it's crazy. I just don't like certain things they do, though. <clears throat> you know, especially the, the, you've got Beard Meets Food with, what, about 4 million subs or 2 million subs. I haven't really checked his sub count. Um, and everyone else, whenever they're going to do a competitive eating challenge, they're like, versus Beard Meets Food sort of thing. And it's like, I don't mind that. But... If you win, don't act like you're, you're Billy Big, you know, like with Adam or with Beard Meets Food, he's always chatting to the camera and sitting there and having a laugh and speaking to people around and stuff while he's filming. So if you're a competitive eater and you've just gone there and gone <laughs> spaced out everything else around you and just jump chomp 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 finished beat beard meat f meets food by about a minute or whatever and and act like you're you're the greatest in the world like yeah oh, i hate it i absolutely hate that you know but shout out to every single one of them though man because they are phenomenal at what they do they really are you know but yeah i am gonna call it there i am quite full Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.